Darius. Yes. Wonderful to meet you. Wonderful to meet you. I'm Alexi. Alexi. We're here with Dance Plug. <laughs> and we're so excited to hear about your journey getting here to So You Think You Can Dance season 15. It's incredible we're having this season. Oh, I know. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel um, like my hard work has paid off, you know? And it's been a year since I've been back. And it's been such a different experience than last year. And um, every moment has been incredible. Like, undescribable and I can't wait to see what happens next you know like I'm so excited and overwhelmed with joy that like I can't even explain it yeah yeah like, my feet are not on the ground yes. yet <laughs> I feel like I'm still in a dream honestly like yes. it's still not real to me right now I feel like I'm sleeping and all of this is happening and I'm like when I wake up I'm like oh my god I have to I get to do that like in the future but like this is now you know oh my god. so it's still like processing yes for sure. You are so gracious. Thank Love you. that. <laughs> Tell us about your audition experience um, and what you learned from it and how you grew from it. Um, so my audition experience this year was a very different. I knew that last year I was um, in a different headspace. I was very scared. I was nervous to let people in um, because for, I had witnessed so much pain in the past and so much abuse that like I was scared to let anyone else in, you know, and I didn't trust people. You know, I was very much in my own world. And so I think that hindered me a lot last year. Mm. This year, I said, I have to break down those walls. I have to, I have to let people in. I have to get to know, I let, have to let people get to know me yes. and who I am. And like, although I had a really rough past, like my future does not define that, you know? And I'm such a happy person now. And you wouldn't even think um, if you look back on what I've been through. So it's like, oh I have to let people know that like you can push through and you can be happy still. You can do anything you want to do. Um, and going into this with that mindset has been incredible. Yes, that's beautiful. Vulnerability is yes. your strength. Yes. I love that. And determination and perseverance, mm -hmm. believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, overcoming your past, mm -hmm. if you wouldn't mind sharing with us what that was and how you grew from that. Yeah, so at a really young age, I had witnessed lots of different things. I had seen drugs. I had witnessed um, someone dear to me, my aunt, being abused on several occasions. And I even, to a certain degree, was abused. And my parents weren't there. And it was just like a lot to take in as a really young child, like very, very young. And it was just almost like punishment after punishment. And for so long, I didn't know what I was existing for, you know? I didn't know like what was my purpose. And this was before I started dancing. I didn't start dancing until I was like 13. Wow. So at like six and seven and eight years old, I was like, what am I doing? You know, all of, all of, my, all of my experiences were negative, you know? And so moving into dance and finding dance has been like my lifesaver. Yeah. And honestly, in all honesty, like if I wasn't dancing, I don't know where I would be, honestly. And so for me to share this with the world and share this with people is amazing. Oh, my God. You know? And you have come out stronger and yes. such a light from it. Yes. And it takes a certain kind of person to be able to do that mm -hmm. as well. Um, so you started training. How did you start training or what was your training yeah. until this point? So when I first, 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 first started dancing when I was 13, I did hip hop. Oh. And I loved it every second of it. It wasn't technical at all. It was just kind of like a fun thing. And then I went to a performing arts middle school, started training in ballet, um, jazz contemporary, um, very lightly though. And then moving into high school, I really started getting more and more interested in ballet. So I took the ballet route. Um, so for such a, like my whole high school career has mostly been ballet. And now I currently attend Butler University in Indiana, which is strictly ballet. So coming into this experience with all this ballet training and not enough, you know, pizzazz type of thing, it, it was hard. I was like, how am I going to compete with all these people who are so diverse in their training, who have done everything for so long? And I'm a ballet kid, you know, but it's helped me so much. My technique has helped me and like my personality has shown through each style. So it's helped. Like, I didn't even need as much training in those styles as I thought I would, yes. you know? Oh my so, gosh. yeah. So beautiful. And the fact that you have that foundation, mm -hmm. that technique, that training, and you're able to expand on that, mm -hmm. wonderful. That um, nice. Yes. Hey. <laughs> hey, I grew up competing at a dance studio. Right. So I understand that yeah. whole yeah. basic focus foundation mm -hmm. thing. Um, tell us, is there are there words that 
in your mindset that you keep repeating to yourself to get you to this point, to get you past the audition that have gotten you through everything in life? Um, be, being, being determination, you know, um, staying humble, um, being inspired, inspiring someone else, you know, all the amazing things yes. as an amazing human <laughs> would be, be. <laughs> um, not being complacent, just uh, like, you know, out of your comfort zone yes. and growing, expanding. Yes, of and course. That's what it's about. Yes. It's about growing as a dancer. You know, it's not like they say they don't want the best dancer. You know, they don't want the best dancer. They want personality. They want growth. They want so many different factors. Yes. So keeping that in my head, I'm like, okay, I don't need to be perfect, you know, but I have something to share with the world and I want to share it, you know, to the best of my ability. Are there any choreographers that you would be excited, ecstatic, love to work with? Um, I... I'm so excited to work with Travis Wall, if that happens. I loved him. He was great. And um, Mandy Moore, also another light. Like, I just felt so comfortable. And these are choreographers who are so known and so um, influential mm -hmm. to the dance community. It's, like, going to be an honor to work with them. Yes. So Amazing. Your journey is going to be incredible. Hope so. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you teach us a move that, or teach me a move or teach, show them a move that they would like? I mean, I just do, like, See? a little, like, a little... Ooh. You know, just a little, yes, little. It's all about the eyes. Yeah, it's like the contemporary reach. It's like <laughs> not the lyrical. Reach. The lyrical. <laughs> That's it. I swear. I swear. Honestly. One last thing. Yes. Any other tips to aspiring dancers that want to get to where you are now? Keep going. You know, diligence is key. You know, and don't let whatever your past was define what your future success will be. Because I never thought I would get to this point. And now that I'm at this point, because I kept pushing and I didn't think about what happened to me, I didn't let that overcome what I could do. Now I'm here. Beautiful. And anything is possible, honestly. Anything. anything. Dreams do come true. Yes, they do. Oh, you are a beautiful soul. Thank, Thank you. you so much for sharing yourself oh, with you us. So much. We love you. Thank Good you. luck. Have fun. Thank you. Darius Hickman, Green Acres, Florida. We're on danceplug.com. Get plugged in. <laughs>